Welcome to Rookies Learn to Crochet. My name is Amber Johnson. I am with Craftaboo and I'm so happy to have you here. Today we are going to learn all about how to finish off a project. We're going to learn about the slip stitch and how to finish off your project and bury your ends so that it looks very professional. So come join me and we will get started. Okay, so welcome back, and what I have here is a little swatch that I'm going to show you how to finish off your project and to tie in your ends so that they're buried and they don't come out and your project looks very professional. So here we go. We are almost all the way around. You can see I finished my border all the way around, and I'm going to put in the last few stitches, and we're going to learn about the slip stitch and how it differs from your other stitches that you've already learned. So right now I'm just doing a single crochet border all the way around and these are my last couple of stitches. So we're going to do that. Let me zoom in a little so you can see this a little better. So as you can see this is where I started my border so I'm just going to uh, close it off and how we do that is we're going to go into this stitch just like we normally would and pull up a loop just like we're going to do a, a regular single crochet but instead of doing a single crochet and yarning over and pulling through we're going to take this loop that we just pulled up and pull it through this loop. Just like that. That is what is called a slip stitch and it's different because it doesn't add any height to your project because you're not adding any more yarn to it. You're just basically using it to close off what you've already done. So we're going to do that one more time so that you can kind of see it a little better. Get the uh, hook back in here. So we're going to go into the stitch just like normal. We're going to yarn over and pull up a loop just like normal and instead of drawing up another loop we're just going to take this loop and pull through that loop. And so that way it gives us a nice finished off corner but it's not adding any extra stitches it just kind of closes it off. So at this point you're pretty much done with your project. So what I do is I like to take a good piece of yarn at the end. I like to leave at least probably six inches or so and just snip it off with some scissors and then we're going to do this we're just going to pull up some yarn through that loop and going to take this working end and just pull it all the way through and cinch it down tight and that way it is completed there's no more see if I pull on this your project is not coming unraveled it's tied off it is complete so then I take my yarn needle and this yarn, this needle is different because you can see that the eye of it is a lot bigger than a normal needle eye. And it's made specifically for yarn so that yarn can fit through that, through the eye of it. So what we're going to do, if I can do it, is get the yarn through here, just like that. All right, so now we've got it all threaded up. Now we're going to bury this end so that it's not sticking out and unsightly. And all you do for that is you take your yarn that's been threaded through the needle, and I like to bury it under some stitches. So I just go in, just like that, under the previous stitches that I've made. Pull it through. Now don't pull it too tight because then it'll yank your project all out of balance. So just give it a good tug. And then I like to go back the way that I came because even if I pull on this, sometimes the end could come out. So I go back again the way that I came and I go over this last stitch and under these stitches. And I like to bury it good. So I even go in between some threads and give it a tug and pull it through and then make sure that your tail comes out and then there you go you have pretty much threaded it all through you can unthread your needle and then take your scissors and snip it off pretty close but make sure you don't cut your work give it a tug to bury that little end and there you go it is all complete see you can not see where we put that yarn in there I mean, you can kind of tell because you know where you were, but it is buried good and deep in there. So 
that is pretty much it. It's super simple. The slip stitch is pretty fast and easy. It's a good way to, uh, you know, close off your work without adding any extra bulk and then hiding your ends to make it look a little more professional. So I hope that that was useful for you. And I hope to see you next time when we learn how to do a brand new stitch. And I will see you then. Thank you for joining me. If you've been enjoying these videos in the Rookies Learn to Crochet series, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up down below the, the viewing screen. And also hit the subscribe button so that you will have notifications every time a new video comes out.